Good evening. My name is Pam Smith. I've spoken to you before, and uh, I'm back again. I am. Uh, I, my address is 268 <coughs> Southwest Rangelier Drive in Fort White. I am also downriver of the proposed phosphate mine, but today I'm here to speak as president of our Santa Fe River. Our Santa Fe River is a nonprofit organization that was formed in 2007 uh, to protect the river from significant extractions from water bottling companies. Our issues have changed over the years a little bit, not much, because uh, the Santa Fe is home to beautiful springs, the ones that Jim mentioned, many of them are dry, and now we have Poe Springs, Rum Island Springs, Gilchrist Blue Springs, and Ginny Springs that are very, very um, challenged. The two things that challenge these springs are water quality and water quantity. We're finding those. The springs you used to hear, how many of you have been to the, any of these springs? Raise your hand. Okay, I, I hope you have too because they're beautiful. But this is a tremendous challenge already in that our springs are being silenced because of the extraction and the nutrient pollution. On top of that, having to deal with significant water extractions from a phosphate mine would be very, very detrimental. And I would just like to say that Bob Knight wrote a short piece this weekend that says Florida Springs are a, a gift. They were there before modern human development. They are an endowment to Mother Nature that delivers economic and aesthetic dividends to human society. When presented with such valuable gifts, our responsibility is to be good stewards by protecting their lifeblood, the water quantity and quality of the Florida aquifer. You have no idea how important your votes are going to be to determine whether this river will survive or it will dry up in, in the future. So please, thank you for allowing us to speak. Thanks, 